Okay guys, you're going to want to get some Elmer's stick glue and cover your hairs with it. So for me, I know a lot of people do it like they cover, you know, they brush up and down with their hairs. For me though, I felt like this was just the simplest way. It's just brushing it up. So that's the way I did it. But if you want to be more secure and you're in the, in the hair sticking, you can brush up and brush down to make sure that all of it gets covered in glue. But I'm gonna show you in a bit why I didn't do that. Um, they were all pretty much sticky anyway, so I was pretty good. I covered my eyebrows a lot. Like, I did this glue stick thing and brushing it with a spoolie for about, I wanna say five minutes, maybe less. Maybe it just felt like five minutes, but I did each brow like for a while. I really was brushing the product onto it, trying to make them stick to my head, which they did eventually. So I just did that for a while. And make sure that you also clean the side of your brow. Like if there's glue, make sure that you clean it, especially if there's no hair in that area. Just take off the glue. Otherwise, if you pull it off, then it might take off the glue from like your brow hair and you don't want that so get like a q-tip get like a cloth put some alcohol on it and just kind of rub that area so what i did is i got like a little metal spatula thingy um like they're like carving tools or something and i actually just put some glue on it and i waited for the coats of glue that i had put on before to dry and then i added some more glue and this was to make it like a very like how can I say this like something that doesn't have ridges in it because when you do your eyebrows you're gonna have like all these ridges and stuff and you're gonna feel it and to make it just like really like a flat surface I put on more glue and I filled in those areas to make it very like very flat if that makes sense okay guys and also another thing is when you're doing this when you put the glue on let it sit there for a while, like the first time when you do it with the spoolie. And then let it dry completely. And then do it again, let it dry completely. So that way your hairs will stick and it will work out. Otherwise, if you're like putting glue on and like going through it with the spoolie and then you're putting glue on on top of that and you're not letting it dry, it's just not going to work out and it's going gonna, it's gonna to become a horrible sticky mess. And you do not want that. So remember, put time between, let it dry, let it sit, and let it settle. The same thing when you're working it with your concealer and the powder, let your concealer sit there. That little patch I had put right there, I let it sit there for a while. I took it out of the video, but I let it sit there. The reason I did that was because that way it could just settle there and it could stay there. And I'm not right away like dabbing the concealer into the brow. I'm working on the sides of it so that way I can spread it out and I can leave a good amount of concealer on the brow hair and I can just do all the way around it. Be very careful like how much concealer you put, how much foundation you put because you can accidentally wipe off concealer with foundation especially if you are being impatient. So take your time with this. This, is, this can work out just as long as you take your time. I'm using the NYX Full Coverage Concealer. I'll put it down below. But that's a really great concealer. If you want to block out your brows, this is probably the best concealer to use because it works. I have very dark hairs. And even when my brow hairs have been like thicker and like more there, because I actually really have thick brows. I did like a lot of plucking and stuff so that way I wouldn't have to worry about too much hair to cover. But even when I do have more hair, um, they, it does cover. It just takes more work to do it. But if you're someone with bushy brows, this concealer should work for you. Um, and that's basically it. Very, very easy, very simple. It's just you need a lot of patience. And then after I let my concealer and foundation sit there for a while, and I let everything kind of dry, I put some airspun powder and boom, you have it guys. I look 
I look pretty creepy, but okay. There you go. Anyways, um, if you want to see why I did this, please go check out the video down below. I'm going to link it below. And I really hope this helped y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Go check out my other videos. And the phone's ringing. Woo! Bye, guys.